I have lots of sources of information about what's going on at the company. I think I have a pretty good pulse on where we are and what people are thinking. You get some success. You run into some walls, it's how tenacious you are, how irrepressible, how ultimately optimistic and tenacious you are about it that will determine your success. I think these things, social networks, are going to have some legs, and yet there's a faddishness, a faddish nature about anything that basically appeals to younger people. The lifeblood of our business is that R&D spend. There's nothing that flows through a pipe or down a wire or anything else. We have to continuously create new innovation that lets people do something they didn't think they could do the day before. The way I do things I usually always prefer to have a very clear strategy and be very focused. At the same time to be very rock solid and crisp in execution. Any idea that turns out to be truly great can be harvested for tens of years. On the other hand, if you want to continue to be great, you've got to bet on new things, big, bold bets. I don't really know that anybody's proven that a random collection of people doing their own thing actually creates value. I'm very, very bullish about our prospects, and as I tell our board, as I tell our employees, this is the time to invest. There's so much opportunity. Let's just invest in that opportunity, and really get after it. It's always great when you get a lot of people pushing themselves to do better, be better, invent better, better serve, better lead customers in new directions. The stock market has always had its own meter. Sometimes it's ahead of itself, sometimes it's behind itself. A broken watch is right twice a day. I come back to the same thing, we've got the greatest pipeline in the company's history in the next 12 months, and we've had the most amazing financial results possible over the last 5 years, and we're predicting being back at double-digit revenue growth in fiscal year 06. I think good ideas are usually better done quickly than slowly. Our industry is going through quite a wave of innovation and it's being powered by a phenomenon which is referred to as the cloud. Accessible design is good design, it benefits people who don't have disabilities as well as people who do. Accessibility is all about removing barriers and providing the benefits of technology for everyone. Great companies with the way they work, first start with great leaders. The number one benefit of information technology is that it empowers people to do what they want to do. It lets people be creative. It lets people be productive. It lets people learn things they didn't think they could learn before, and so in a sense, it is all about potential. I like to tell people that all of our products and business will go through three phases. There's vision, patience, and execution. Look at the product pipeline, look at the fantastic financial results we've had for the last five years. You only get that kind of performance on the innovation side, on the financial side, if you're really listening and reacting to the best ideas of the people we have.